What's up Conscious Creators, Alex here. Time for something a little bit different. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the fastest ways to get in alignment and manifest what you want. Getting in alignment means getting into flow and positive expectation. Don't you just love it when you have a dream and you get your energy right and then boom, it drops in. It's so much fun. It's one of my favorite things ever. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a six step process to get in alignment so you can manifest what you want. I strongly believe that if you pay close attention to this video, deal with the background noise here in Mexico, and possibly even take notes or watch it multiple times, it's gonna be incredibly valuable for you. Before we start, just a quick message to say, slots are open for the free one-to-one -one with me or one of my team to see if you'd be a good fit for the Awaken Aware program over at speaktoalex.com. More details at the end. The first step to get an alignment and manifest what you want. And don't overlook this. Get really specific about what you want and why you want it. Write about it, visualize it. As you close your eyes, imagine it and feel it. And if you haven't done it recently, do it again with your new goals Get really specific. How many products sold? How many clients? How much money? What kind of house or apartment? How many people's lives positively impacted? How many lives changed? For example, if you're an artist, what art galleries are your pieces going to be in? Where will you be dancing, performing your music? If you're planning ocean cleanup, how much trash cleaned from the ocean in weight? If you're a coach, how many people's lives do you want to help and change for the better? And on what scale, ultimately? Whatever you're doing, what's the bigger goal here specifically? Get really connected to it. The universe has to know exactly what you want if it's going to manifest it. Don't be short-termist. Being long-termist doesn't mean you have to neglect your short-term needs or desires, but we'll get into that later. With whatever your goal or vision is, what's the bigger overarching goal here? What do you really want in the long term? What do you really feel about? So many people never satisfy their long-term desires because they keep going to satisfy their short-term desires and perpetually put off what's deep in their heart. Motivation is urgency. Let me say that again. Motivation really is just urgency, neurologically. And that urgency can be from love or fear. It can be from being pushed by uncomfortable circumstances, fear or pain, or pulled pulled towards an inspiring vision, something that lights your heart on fire. I think we'll all agree. The desirable thing is to be mostly pulled. It's not wrong to be pushed by things a little. Perhaps it gets you going, but wouldn't it be lovely if you could be pulled by an inspiring vision? Isn't it wonderful when you're pulled by a compelling vision? What is that vision in the fine details? Many people are focused on short-term wins and short-term fixes, but to tr do truly something truly meaningful in the world sometimes takes decades. Many people spend decades refining their craft or their message. Do something that's going to excite you for the long term. Look at your current desires honestly. Is this what you really want deep down? Is this what you really dream about? when you feel completely limitless? Or is it what your conditioning has told you to do? Is it the desires or expectations of your parents? Are you trying to satisfy short-term needs for belonging, sex, or validation? If it is, recognize that and start bringing awareness to your deeper desires. What do you really, really, really want? What is your deepest heart's desire for yourself and the world? Write about it envision it with your imagination and feel it. The second step to get in alignment and manifest what you want is get a hundred percent conviction in the vision. Believe in the vision. Everything 
around you that was made by humans in this world was believed in. Every radical change in society was believed in. Every time we have given rights to beings that should have been given them in the first place, someone had to believe that in first. Someone had to see that that oppression, that injustice was wrong. And they had to have a 100% conviction in that because the rest of society was telling them otherwise. If it's a childhood dream of yours, know that you deserve this and you are worthy of this. And any other story is someone else's story. As long as you're not harming anyone else, go for it. But to be honest, you don't even need the concepts of deservingness and worthiness if you know your goal, your dream, just is. It just is. Don't put it on a pedestal. It isn't higher or lower than you. All value is in the eye of the beholder. Imagine and feel exactly how what you're doing is going to work and make a difference or bring you extreme joy and expansion. Have a 100% conviction that this is the right thing to do and that you are on the right path and that you are doing your best to express yourself and help the world. Stop people pleasing and be unapologetic in how you show up in the world. The third step to get in alignment and manifest what you want is release the resistance. Release the fears, limiting beliefs and dysfunctional patterns that are blocking the path to what you really want and surrender to the vision. Manifesting is less often a, often a path of adding in new things and more often a path of letting go. Letting go of your old identity. Letting go of the person that has the results that you currently have. And embodying the person that has the things you want. Letting go of the limiting beliefs and any idea that it's not for you or somehow you'll be in danger. Take the necessary steps to keep your body and mind protected as possible at the same time as knowing that the true you is fully safe and fully protected. Tap in to the instantly accessible spiritual knowledge that you, as infinite consciousness, are 100% safe and unharmable. And then filter that knowledge down to the level of the body and the mind by doing the necessary mindset work and healing work to make that happen. So you can move without being constantly crippled by fear and anxiety responses when you go to take action. Cultivate a sense of safety and security in the body and mind by healing old wounds, old traumas and childhood survival patterns. And know yourself as the indestructible creative consciousness. Let any other belief that you're not go and surrender to the truth. The fourth step in getting in alignment to manifest what you want is to stay focused. We all know this, right? Stay focused. Create a dopamine breadcrumb trail by recognizing small wins and milestones. Don't set an impossibly high bar that means you cannot satisfy any short-term wins. Have the big dream and the big vision, but begin creating, performing, or helping people now. What can you create in the short term? What can you start helping people with right now? What minimum viable service could you deliver? Start delivering it now. Yes, if you need to do a specific training to do a specific thing, do that training. But don't let perpetual training get in the way of actually doing or serving. People ask me, Alex, how do I create a coaching business seeing as you've done it? Do I start with a website, start posting on social media? I say, no, start by coaching and then coach your absolute butt off. If you want to be a coach, the number one thing to do is coach, coach, coach. So you can begin practicing, listening, helping people, learning, growing, and then helping people some more. That's what's going to increase your value as a coach. Get your dopamine system tied to the activities that will lead to the results that you want by enjoying the process and having fun with it. Getting into the flow with it 
and recognizing those milestones and continuously affirming that you are on the right path. When things to appear to go wrong, reframe them. See how they are actually a stepping stone to what you want. You grow in some way. Any discomfort or pain evolves you. You look somewhere else and you come back better equipped. Even if you got priced out of your city, the market collapses or the perceived value drops out of everything you own, do your best to stay grateful for the simple things and stay connected to your mission. Perhaps ultimately, this is pushing you somewhere better. What if, at the end of it all, all the challenges that you've been through start to make sense and are exactly what you needed for the growth of your soul? Come up with the reframe of the situation that reignites and reconnects you to the vision. And stay social. Being an entrepreneur can feel lonely when you don't connect to people. So have those little micro connections through the day, especially with people who hold you accountable to your greater vision or cheer you on or who are also on the path of manifesting. The fifth step to get in alignment and manifest what you want is become the person that has what you want. On the human level, become the person that has what you want. What does the person who has what you want do? How do they think? What are their monthly, weekly and daily habits? How do they emotionally respond to situations? Successful athletes, for example, train almost every day with strategically planned days for rest and they get up when they get knocked down. A successful coach is usually doing specific habits every day to keep their energy and focus at effective levels. A successful company owner has specific habits and time boundaries and mindset attitudes that all contribute to their success. Successful artists, writers and musicians show up for their craft usually every day. You must create a physical, social and psychological ves vessel to hold what you want. You create a physical vessel by creating a physical situation in your life that can hold what you're creating somewhere to work effectively, somewhere to do business. You create a social vessel by connecting to the types of people that the person who has what you want is connected to. And you create a psychological vessel by implementing the mindset, the attitudes and the boundaries that, has, that the person who has what you want has. And ultimately, you are beyond this body and mind, beyond this human form. You are infinite consciousness. But in order to have a different experience, you as infinite consciousness has to dream a wildly different personality if you want to have a wildly different result. So get ready for the shift. The sixth step to get in alignment and manifest what you want is make peace and happiness in the now the number one priority. Make yourself, your true self, the number one priority. Don't offset your happiness into the future. Discover the inner peace and contentment that's always instantly accessible in the now. Peace and happiness in the now plus inspiring future equals complete alignment. Manifesting can bring you lots of excitement, enjoyment, fun and connection and all kinds of internal rewards. But there is a peace and contentment of your true nature that I've made a ton of videos about. It's accessible whether what you've been envisioning in your mind is currently your experience or not. And even when it is your current experience, you're going to want more. It's human nature. So we must see what's beyond our, na our nature as humans and into our nature as consciousness. We must see that we, as aware consciousness, are already whole and complete and therefore unattached to their outcome. When that spiritual knowledge filters down to the level of the body and the mind and into the thinking and the nervous system, things really start to accelerate things start to manifest because you're not attached to them anymore. So 
prioritize your peace and happiness in the now. Practice gratitude for everything you have and fully engage with the process in the knowledge that you are infinite consciousness. You, as the absolute, are the manifesting power. And that concludes the video. Just to remind you, the Awaken Aware program is a science and non-duality informed program to help you overcome fear and find inner peace and get in alignment and create more of what you want. If you're a conscious entrepreneur with some fear barriers or you keep getting distracted or self-sabotaging or coming across other obstacles and blockages and you have realized you need an internal shift, this is for you. If that interests you, head over to speaktoalex.com. There'll be a quick quiz to fill in about your desires and challenges. And then you can book a time to speak to me or one of my team about solving your problems. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it highly valuable. See you in the next video. Peace.